and welcome to the Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher. He's got a smile on his face today because the Racers scored just a huge victory over the weekend at home against Eastern Kentucky 34-27 in overtime here at Roy Stewart Stadium. First win for the Racers at home against EKU since 1999 and their first of any kind since 2004 coach and so proud of you and the, and the team and how you fought on Saturday. Uh, that was really, really impressive. Well, of course, it was a great win for right. us. Um, they had beaten us 11 out of the last 13 times. They've kind of had our number. Right. Um, we've had some close games with them since I've been here. And then last year, they got after us pretty good. Um, but I was real proud of our team. Um, no matter the outcome of the overtime, um, you know, when you're five and six, the last game of the season, um, you, sometimes you wonder, are the guys going to finish strong? And sure enough, we finished strong, had some great efforts on all three phases of the game, big plays. Finally, the ball bounced our way. We got after the Colonels for the first time in a long, long time. Feels really good. It really does. Feels great to be sitting here with Coach and uh, showing you these highlights. Let's go ahead and roll them. And uh, it was a day where it was uh, very, very cold, very, very windy. And Coach, that's kind of what you'd expect uh, for about Thanksgiving time. It? <laughs> well, it was. And, you know, as far as the, the wind was just really, yeah. really brutal. And um, on the screen, the wind was howling from the left to the right. Mm -hmm. And so we, we start out, we're going into the wind. Uh, but we get a great play here right off the get-go. Um, Jamal takes a little screen pass. Um, not much going, breaks it back, and um, you know this this was a big play for us because we hadn't had much offensive production. But this first drive was like clockwork. Nice little throw to Jeremy Harness. Um, here's a good third down completion um, across the middle to Paul Rice. Um, another little screen pass out to Jamal. You know, again, we're just getting positive yards on pretty much every play. Um, really good job here by Harness again. Kentucky native gets us down there close. Um, right here, um, the pressure kind of got to McHale. Actually, we had Jordan Morrow running for a touchdown, um, but we hit Harness um, on the on the short one in the flat, and then we come out in our overload formation, something we ain't shown um, in a long, long mm -hmm. time. Um, we get us a couple good yards, first time in a while, to go up seven to nothing with this Mark Weinster kick. Coach, uh, McHale Miller uh, had lost his starting job. He was back in there on Saturday. Man, he looked confident. He really looked like he was ready. To go. Really proud of him. Um, you know, we, we put him on the bench a couple weeks ago, and um, and he worked hard. He worked hard to get back um, to the starting position. Had a great attitude these past couple weeks. Um, we would not have won the game without his production. He played really, really well. Okay, so on the kickoff, uh, Northington gets a 28 yards out to near midfield. Uh, this was EKU's first possession of the day, and you guys got you guys got them stopped on their first drive. Well, we did. Again, that win was tough. So any time you kicked it um, going towards the baseball field, the north end zone, um, you, you, you knew you were going to have good field position. Um, and here we get great um, coverage. Quay Huzzy, big hit on the QB. Um, and then th this was one of, we turned it over four times on the day. And here, um, watch this, the wind oh. gets it, hits John Thorell right in the in the the helmet and um, but luckily for us our defense holds down there close and forces them to a field goal yeah and you're going to see uh, there there's a common theme in this game and that's that murray state defense uh, when it got down to brass tacks they did not let them in the end zone no they didn't and um, here this was our second possession of the game so we're forced to punt again not a very good punt um, here trying to punt it mm -hmm. into the wind so um, they get great field position once again and you know i'm just trying to keep the game at seven to three now so that we could get the wind at our back um, but right here again great play over the middle there's Chavez Sims Perry Cooper in there um, another a, a great job here on the goal line you know our guys are fighting extremely hard um, and then they finally um, they finally punch it in on the QB sneak and um, right here they they, they get it in just barely. Uh, yeah, right? it was, yeah, boy, they, you can sell it, see the officials. Were, well, I take that back. This was the one that we stopped them on. I'm sorry. There, oh, okay, Dave. Coach. We, we sorry. I'm sorry, too. Them. Um, and then we come right back. And this was a huge possession for us. Um, been able to move the ball up the goal line. But lo and behold, 
after the great goal line stand. Um, we throw it in there. Paul Rice bats it in the air. They intercept it. So they're right back in business. But um, again, our defense holds. They kick the long field goal at seven to six. That's right, seven to six. And now we're at the end of the first quarter. And sorry about that confusion. Uh, but man, so much happens in a game like this. It's kind of hard to to keep track of it. So now we're going to move ahead uh, to this the second quarter. This is uh, maybe three minutes into the second quarter. Uh, Miller's pass it was incomplete, and then Stephen Mix uh, had to do that little little pooch punt here, and you guys down it inside the five yard line. That's a great punt. Well, no question. But this was a pivotal drive um, for for Eastern Kentucky. They kept converting on third downs. Again, we wouldn't give up the big play. That was one uh, of them right here. Here's know, another one, uh, third and four. You know, great coverage. Um, um, right there, I think that's Corey Addison on the coverage. Um, nice job, but you know they're just kind of pecking away at us, and then they slip through um, for a good run. And you know they're known for that good power running game. Um, and here we just we mix, fit our gaps. They take it in, and, and really at this point, I was a little concerned. They go up 13 to seven on us, but um, you know we had the. They were going into the win, and if, if you wasn't there at the game, the win was a big factor. I mean, you can see right here, just hard to catch the kick. So they turned the field position around very quickly. Tell you what, in the absence of uh, probably the best kick returner in the country uh, in uh, Dwayne Powell, uh, Jamal Berry's done a really good job, and that sets you up again with a pretty short field. Well, it did, and um, um, Jamal did a nice job there, and um, this was a great run by Jeremy Harnessman. Go wonderful catch by Jesse Blackburn, the freshman. A one-handed grab. We're able to punch it in with Mikael Miller. Um, we kick the extra point. Mark Weinstra um, from, from Mayfield um, knocks it on through, and um, all of a sudden, hey, we got the lead, and um, Racer 1's getting a little workout. That's right. Uh, Racer 1 was running around the track, and, and Coach, this was a deal where they just scored, and my goodness, what, what, how did it make you guys feel on the sideline to answer? Well, it, it was really good just because we, we've had so much trouble um, moving the ball the past couple weeks, but all things are clicking. Um, again, you know, they, they got a great rushing attack. Their quarterback made plays for them the entire night. Another big third down conversion for them. Um, you know, I just I felt like our defense, um, they were on the field for a long time and they slipped the big tight end out the back door and they go up 20 to 14 at the half. Um, but again, defense played well. After that, we fumbled the ensuing kickoff, right. um, and, and, and they were in and, field goal range, and our defense shuts them down. Defense yeah. played outstanding the entire night. Okay, so we're at the half here. Murray State, Eastern Kentucky, big win for the Racers to finish up the season. We'll show you the second half in just a moment. Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. Enough of this golf already. I want you to go. I'm no. stupid. You're stupid. Boys, settle down. At Time Warner Cable, any of these devices can be your TV at the click of a button. No one offers more sports on more devices than Time Warner Cable. Why do you got a laptop? I want the cell phone. Give me that laptop. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC and ask how you can save up to $600. Switch to a better entertainment experience, guaranteed. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. 
Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Hi folks, welcome back to the Race Report with Head Coach Chris Hatcher. We're going to roll the tape and take a look at the second half highlights as the Racers got a big overtime victory against Eastern Kentucky. Uh, so then in the third quarter, uh, the Racers with the win, good kickoff, and you get them stopped on their first drive. Yep, we do a nice job. Good, good hustle there by Josh Man, He actually missed him the first time, um, but we get him down. Um, good kick. We're down by six. I'm feeling pretty good because we dodged some bullets with the turnovers there in the first half. Um, but this this third quarter and um, all the way really to the last drive of the game for Eastern Kentucky, our defense stifled them the entire night. And um, the only thing that hurt us was the quarterback runs, but great job there by Travis Taylor. Um, we forced them to punt. Um, again, this punter that they had, he's outstanding. He, he's the best. Jordan Berry, the best in the conference. And that was the end of the uh, win. Look yeah, how far it kicked I know. It. <laughs> so they changed the field position a little bit. But um, right here, they finally stop our screen pass. But that's okay because in a minute, we're going to fake it and get a big play. Um, again, good completion here to Paul Rice. You know, big series. we got to stop on defense. We're down by a touchdown. Um, we come right back out. Um, this was a phenomenal throw. Um, to Jesse Blackburn, who had a w great night. I believe he had nine catches on the evening. Just a freshman, too. <laughs> and um, nice throw and catch to the sophomore Paul Rice out of St. Louis. The, he took over for Walter Powell. Um, we tried to run it in there. You know, we didn't try to run much. We just knew we their defense is too good against the run. So we run a little wheel route, and look at this catch by Blackburn. Um, just a great job all night. He played. Um, the game of the century for that guy. A lot to look forward to in years to come from him. So then Weinstrick uh, knocks the extra point through, and then we're still that, that one-point difference here. Racer 1 takes another lap. Murray State's up 21-20. But a lot of time left here, Coach. 11:49 uh, to go in the third quarter, and it was just like uh, – you know, two boxers just trading punches all day, it seemed like. Well, they get the ball back and get a little bit of drive going. But um, here you can see, I think that's Jeremy Brackett on the initial um, play there. And um, really good coverage downfield um, right here. Um, I mean, we, you know, we covered them up all night and forced them to punt to us. And, um, again, that win was <laughs> tough. So we got a nice bounce on this one. Um, they couldn't pin us too deep. Um, so real crucial drive here. And, um Little hitch and go, but watch old Mikhail get out of get out of a little bit of a jam. Um, gets a positive gain. Um, little job on the, the the naked bootleg. There's Josh Brown, a senior from Tampa, Florida, um, playing in his last ball game. And here, here's what I was talking about. They had been coming up on the screens, mm -hmm. um, so we get a big time throw. Great catch, great run by Janowski Davis and. The old ghost man got him, and um, I think it was the turf monster. Well, and you know, here we there. go. We're thinking we're going to score, <laughs> yeah. go up by eight, and all of a sudden, Eastern Kentucky has new life. Um, but then, what, they do this, and then look at here, boy. Oh, I thought we were going to scoop and score. Great hustle, T. Ray Malone, Sam Small, the senior. Um, we're getting good pressure on the passer, sacked by Travis Taylor, and um, so we're we're change, slowly changing the field position a little bit. Get on a third down play, we stop him, um, and then watch this kick. Uh, this guy, he, he's pretty good, and um, I thought that was a great job by Janowski. He had to concentrate ball. on that to bring yeah. that one in. Um, so here we go again. We fake the screen once again. Um, you know, we we're, we've been moving the ball, scored on the open and drive. Um, had a you know had one play that we fumble on air. So we come right back. Paul Rice, oh, he's so close to getting it in, Dave. Um, we were a step away. Um, so we get down here a little bit in, in field goal range, but um, well, we take a crucial sack, and then on fourth down, um, it's fourth and fifteen from the twenty. Yeah, we're just a little too far to kick it, mm. a little too close to punt it, so we turn the ball over on downs, um, up one point, headed into the fourth quarter. Yep, uh, still up by one, headed into the fourth. So now we're going to go to EKU's first drive of the fourth quarter. They try the uh, the end around here, a uh, little trickeration, and it. That, if that pass is completed, you're in trouble. No doubt. Well, he was wide open. Very well executed play for him. Um, great coverage there by Darren Yavi. Um, does a really good job. And um, and, and th this is when it's just a really close game. You know, Janowski does a nice job of catching it. But he's just got to realize where he is on the field, Dave. Just um, He's a young player. Um, good job here coming off the goal line. Completion to the senior, Dwayne Brady, to beat the blitz. 
thought Mikael did a nice job. Look at here. Um, wonderful job just getting rid of the football. Yeah, just get it out of there. Um, yeah. and, and this was the play of the game. Um, Steven Mix dropped the ball as he was punting. It kicked it into our back, picked it up, and ran for a first down. Unbelievable. And, you know, it was really kind of hard to tell what exactly had happened. You know, uh, we thought maybe the it had been blocked and then he got it, but that was an amazing play. Yeah, well, there was nobody around him. And then you hit the big pass. He just he, he kicked it into the back of Drew Kelly. Uh -huh. Again, Paul Rice, <laughs> you have no idea how close he was to keeping that one in play. And um, this is a third and long play. Nice throw, good catch by Janowski Davis. But we come up a yard short. Um, elect to kick the field goal. Mark Weinstra boots it through. Um, to make it a four-point game. All right, so now it's 24-20. Now we're under 10 minutes to go in the game. That was a sack by the racers, so they hold again and cause EKU to punt. Yep, and um, again, nice job here um, by Janowski holding on to the to the fair catch signal. And um, we're, so we're up four, um, need a big drive. Um, they got a little momentum at this time just because of the field position. Again, Jeremy Harness had a wonderful night. Um, he has really been playing good here lately. Um, great job here on a third down play, avoiding the rush. Jordan Morrow, the senior from California, only catch of the night, but it was a huge one. We milked some clock. Actually, the ball got tipped. Um, their number 88 is block five this season, Dave. So here we go, under four minutes. We're up by a touchdown, and all night the bootleg, it, it hurt us. We play it to perfection, and the guy, he cuts it all the way back. Um, but our defense was playing really well. They punch it in with less than 40 seconds to go in the game, add the extra point, and here we go. We go into overtime. Wow, what, what a game. Uh, we say in, instant classic. Man, this is going to be really something. So another break here on the Racer Report with Chris Hatcher. We'll show you how the overtime went. We'll do that next. The best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers. Service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers. Two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers. Proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Enough of this golf already. I want you to go. Golf. Golf. You're stupid. You're stupid. Boys, settle down. At Time Warner Cable, any of these devices can be your TV at the click of a button. No one offers more sports on more devices than Time Warner Cable. Why do you got a laptop? I want the yeah. cell phone. Give me that laptop. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC and ask how you can save up to $600. Switch to a better entertainment experience, guaranteed. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. I go because my friends are here. I go because it's so close. I go for the small class sizes. I go to get a better job. I go because I can take classes when it works for me. I go because I can transfer my credits. I go for some of Kentucky's most affordable tuition. I go because it's crazy not to. For all the right reasons. The Kentucky Community and Technical College System. Higher education begins here. work on that tan, bro. We're back here on the Racer Report with Chris Hatcher. Without further ado, let's roll the tape and take a look at the overtime period. EKU won the toss, and they put the Racers on offense first, and you guys had a great first possession. We did, and you know, a lot of times, if, if you know you're going to score first, it puts that the other team in a, um, um, in, in a bind. So we come right out of the gates. We try to run one up the middle. No gain. Throw it out to Paul Rice. Incomplete pass. Third and long. We go back and we run the big boy, the double reverse option pass. And uh, Mikhail Miller makes an unbelievable throw. Jesse Blackburn, a great catch. The extra point is good. You talk about threading the needle, coach. And we are up <laughs> seven to nothing, and we're one big stop away 
from beating Eastern Kentucky for the first time since 1999 at Roy Stewart Stadium. Okay, so EKU gets the ball. First down, they get four yards. And they're going to get it all the way down to the two-yard line, Coach, before it's high noon. Well, we, we do a good <laughs> job here. Finally, you know, the quarterback had been hurting us the entire game. And um, nice job here, Perry Cooper, who ended up being the defensive player of the week, um, had a lot of tackles in the ball game. Um, so we end up getting it, getting it down. Um, great job here. Um, a great tackle. I believe that was Brandon Wicks um, or, or Josh Manning. So we come down. This is a fourth down and one play. From the 17. Uh, yep, and we lose contain. So um, QB just barely gets in. Um, again, um, they get a nice run up the middle. Great tackle there. I think, again, that was Perry Cooper. Um, but here's, here's where it all, all ends. Um, That's first and goal. Yep, great job. It, it, it's hard for me to tell who, who's yeah. making the play, but we got a bunch of guys in there. So second down, um, good job there. Darren Yabby's given up a lot of inches. They have two really big, tall receivers. Um, so third down, um, they make a nice catch over the middle. Um, I, I really thought the guy dropped it. So um, here we go. Um, we, we come right back. Quarterback keeper, we hold him out um, at that time. and. I couldn't tell what the officials were going to do, but our team ran on the field um, like we won the ball game, and sure enough, um, he, he came up a half a yard short. What a great way to end the season. Goal line stand, a lot of great seniors, um, and more importantly, I just really like the way our guys fought. Big, big win for our football Go team. Go Racers. That's all I can say. We'll take another break here with Coach Hatcher. Come back, and we'll wrap up our show in a couple of segments and uh, put a ball on this one here on the Racer Report. Enough of this golf already. I want you to go. Golf no. stupid. You're stupid. Boys, settle down. At Time Warner Cable, any of these devices can be your TV at the click of a button. No one offers more sports on more devices than Time Warner Cable. Why do you got a laptop? I want the cell phone. Give me that laptop. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC and ask how you can save up to $600. Switch to a better entertainment experience guaranteed. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Back here in the Racer Report as Murray State wrapped up the season, 34-27 overtime victory over EKU. And I'll tell you what, Coach, 6-6, six 4-4 and six, four and four in the OVC sure sounds a lot better if it had been 5-7 and seven and 3-5. and five. You guys had a great win. And uh, what happens now? You guys go into the offseason? Yeah, well, we start our recruiting, which we, mm -hmm. we do all the time. But we actually get out a little bit more because, um, you know, of course, we don't have games to prepare yep. for. But, you know, I'm really proud of what, what we've done. I mean, you know, we take over a program that had a 362 winning percentage in the last 10 years. Right. Um, we got that up over 500. 
hundred. You know, our teams have. Um, if we were the FBS, we would have been bowl eligible three out of four years. Um, I think we're getting better. We are. You know, I know our records pretty much staying the same. But you know, this year we played some tough teams. We played Missouri, Bowling Green, two teams mm -hmm. that are going to bowl games. We probably won a couple. Maybe we shouldn't have won. We we got beat in a couple uh -huh. that we we probably shouldn't have got beat in. But um, I feel really good about where we're headed. We're making strides, but um, can't say enough about those seniors. They hung in there, 22 of them. I told them um, on Sunday evening for our last official team meeting before Thanksgiving break that um, 20 years from now when they come back, they'll always remember the goal line stand that broke the streak against Eastern Kentucky. And uh, down in the, in the uh, lobby, we've shown you that, uh, the new Hall of Fame area for Murray State football, that big horseshoe for a big win is going to go on the wall. Well, there's no question about it's it. It's going up. So, man, what, what, a, what a great, great victory. So, uh, one more break here. We'll come back and wrap up the season with head coach Chris Hatcher. We'll do that next. I go because my friends are here. I go because it's so close. I go for the small class sizes. I go to get a better job. I go because I can take classes when it works for me. I go because I can transfer my credits. I go for some of Kentucky's most affordable tuition. I go because it's crazy not to. For all the right reasons. The Kentucky Community and Technical College System. Higher education begins here. Hey ladies. Ah. Enjoying the film? <laughs> of course not. Because this is our movie! And Dr. Pepper 10 is our soda. It's only 10 manly calories, but with all 23 flavors of Dr. Pepper. It's what guys want, like this. Catchphrase. So you can keep the romantic comedies and lady drinks. We're good. Dr. Pepper 10, it's not for women. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. in top of the key. Six seconds to go to three. We're back here to wrap it up with head coach Chris Hatcher on the race report. Coach, I want to thank you for your time uh, this season. You, you come in here and you, you do a great show. Uh, you, you really do. Had a lot of fun and uh, you know, I wish you the best as you go into the, the recruiting season and already looking forward to 2014. Well, I appreciate it and, and the same yeah. to you guys for putting the show. I want to thank all the fans for their support this season. Um, I want to thank John Fannin and mm -hmm. our band. Um, yeah. boy, they, they did an awesome job, even though they booed me at the end of the game for kneeling on it. <laughs> Um, into a 50 mile an hour win, but we're gonna get yeah. the, the best thing about it was at least I knew they were into the game. Yeah, they were. And, they were paying um, attention. So, yes. Um, and, you know, so we we got a lot of great people here, mm -hmm. and we're excited about the direction the program's headed. Um, I think we got big things to come, but we got to replace a lot of guys. Mm -hmm. This will be the the largest signing class we've had. You know, we'll end yeah. up bringing in 26 new players next season. So yeah. um, we got a lot of work to do, but um, again, it it sure makes you feel better um, doing it after a win like we. Had Saturday versus EKU. Well, well, as Coach says, there's nothing like being the being a racer on a Saturday night after a big win. And I thought about that. You're saying a couple times uh, Saturday night, what a big, big victory it was. All right, so we got to get out of here. Uh, of course, we'd be uh, checking in with Coach uh, through his his program. Uh, I forgot what you named it. Your 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 program that you do. Call to the post. Call to the Call post. To the post. We, 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 yeah, we both. Me, I'm sorry. Me, um, I'm today. sorry. So uh, anyway, coach will be doing call to the post. You'll see that pop up on Go Racers, and of course we'll be with him on signing day, and then of course in spring practice next spring. So anyway, we got to go. We'll see you next time on the race report with head coach Chris Hatcher. Miller calling the shots. Hand off. Reverse. Pitch back to Miller. Miller looking to the end zone. Touchdown! Miller reverse. Miller. Pass gun formation. Owens to his left. This time McLean's going to keep it. No, Take, no. no, he did not get in. He did not get in. Racers win the ball game. Racers win.